today's episode of Dollhouse Unboxing. I'm a 26 year old gal who loves toys and I encourage you to love what makes you happy. In today's video I'm going to be sharing weird toys that I have in my vintage toy collection. Some of these are reproductions which means it's like a remake of the original vintage toy so it's not technically vintage but it's based off the vintage toy if that makes sense. So let's get on into it because I'm really excited to share some of my unique toys with you all. Let's start with the weirdest toy or at least one of the weirdest toys in my opinion in my toy collection and that is this 1993 Furby toy. It doesn't work. I bought it off of Mercari for a really good price. It had the box and the original instructions and everything. Um, the only thing is it doesn't work which is fine because I just wanted it as a display piece. Honestly the noises that it makes kind of scares me. <laughs> but I've never had a Furby before so I'm really happy to have this. She is very sweet and her name is Trixie. I have customized her and given her a kawaii makeover and I think that she looks super super cute and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here's a close-up of Miss Trixie here. I have a cute can kill necklace on her as well as a little bow and some Hello Kitty stickers that are kind of like makeshift earrings I guess. I didn't want to like actually pierce the ears so I just put some a little bit of hot glue on some stickers and that's how I made her little earrings. She's an icon and I'm literally obsessed with her. I'm so happy to be sharing my toy collection because I feel like I don't really get to talk about it that much and I'm really really passionate about it and yeah so there's Trixie. She's an icon. We love her. Now let's get on to the next weird toy in my toy collection. Now if you've been on my channel for a while you've probably already seen this toy but this is a puppy surprise toy and basically this is like a mama dog and she has puppies like she literally has puppies in her little uh, stomach I guess you would say. So there's one of the little little puppies. So so cute and I feel like this is just a weird toy to have. My brother calls them nightmare fuel and <laughs> I just think it's so funny that he's like legitimately scared of it. I like the hard face and the soft body. I think it's very vintage, very 80s and I just love it so much. This again is a reproduction of the original 80s puppy surprise toys. So they also had other animals. So it was like kitty surprise, bunny surprise, bear surprise, and so on and so forth. So this is my puppy surprise. She's very sweet and I love her. And I also have a kitty surprise which is super super cute. I actually got this as a birthday gift from one of my friends. And I just love her. I also have the rabbit uh, surprise toy or the bunny surprise toy, but I'm not going to bring that one out. I don't need to show all of my uh, surprise toys. But yeah, same thing. She has like little babies in her stomach or, you know, whatever you want to call it. So there's one of her, her kittens. Super cute. Like I said, I just love the design of the like hard plastic face and the plush body. It just gives me very much vintage toy vibes, 80s toy vibes, and I love it so much. Uh, these were made in 2017, so it's a remake of the original 80s toy, uh, but I really like them. And yeah, I have three of them, and honestly, if they weren't so expensive, I would probably have more of them because I think they're really cool. So just to clarify, I don't have too many toys that are weird in my toy collection. They're mostly just vintage, mainly My Little Pony. So uh, I only have three toys to share with you today. And the last one is my Monshishi doll. And this is like a little plush monkey. And she's very sweet. I have five of them. I have, yeah, I have five of them. Uh, they're very cute, very expensive, very hard to find. Uh, this is actually a remake of the original 80s toy. There was also a cartoon at the time, which I've never seen, but I just think they're really cool. Again, it's that like hard face plush body design that I like so much. And these 
were made when were these made the brand has been around since 1918 so they've been around for quite a long time and I just think they're super cute another thing that I really love about these Monchichi dolls is that like they have different outfits so this one is like a little bunny Monchichi and it's like considered the one of the babies so that's why it has like a bib um, there's bigger ones but I only have the small ones so yeah it's that same thing I really love this one in particular because it reminds me of precious moments like the way that the eyes are drawn and it's just really cute and really cool and yeah I really love them I wish they weren't expensive or I would probably have more of them uh, a Monshishi doll can range anywhere from like $25 to like $100 depending on which one it is so the price is definitely up there in terms of vintage toys and vintage reproduction toys. I'm pretty sure that these are reproductions of the original Monshishi dolls. Um, these are not vintage so they weren't as expensive but I still really love them. I think they're super cute and yeah I'm really happy to have a bunch of them in my collection. I just I think they're super neat and super interesting and if anyone will listen, I will sit and I will talk about vintage toys pretty much all day. But uh, that's the last vintage toy that I wanted to show you that I consider to be a weird toy in my toy collection. Of course I have other toys and certain toys that, you know, people would consider weird, but these are definitely the weirdest out of the bunch that I have. This is not a weird toy. <laughs> I just wanted to say that mainly what I collect is like my little pony pretty much every generation except for g2 g2 is the only generation that i don't like but yeah g1 is my favorite um generation for my little pony and i have a bunch of them uh if i had more shelving space i would probably have more of them but yeah, so those are all of my weird toys in my toy collection. If you'd like to see more videos about my toy collection, please let me know. I'm never 100% sure if people are interested in this kind of stuff. I feel like people mainly follow me on YouTube or subscribe to me on YouTube for fashion related videos and like hauls. So if you like vintage toys and you want to hear me ramble on about my favorite toys, let me know down below in the comment section. I do want to give a really quick shout out to my friend Manda. She has a shop called Aura Kitten and the way that her shop works is she does live sales on Instagram and then you claim the item and the first person to claim it gets the item. So it's like auction type um, sales which is really fun and interesting and she made me this ring and this bracelet and like I bought some crystals from her so I just wanted to give like a really quick shout out if you love crystals and handmade jewelry and all of that definitely check her out I will put a link down below in the description box if you're interested in checking out her Instagram her feed is amazing you definitely will not be disappointed if you like this video, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it would really help me out and I would love to have you as part of my dollhouse family. All that being said, thank you so much for playing in the dollhouse today and I'll see you next time. Bye!